I know niggas wanna see me dead in the ground Wanna catch me slipping, fill my head up with rounds Gotta get away, too much bloodshed in the town Boom! Yes guys, it's AJ, back with another video And I just wanna say thank you for 1k views on my most recent video I really appreciate the love and the support I've been getting from everyone Today I thought I would do a Q&A for you lot Just so you can find out a little bit about me Because before you didn't really know a lot about me And I just wanted to give people an opportunity to ask me a few questions And just to get to know me a little bit So I gave people the opportunity on Snapchat and Instagram to ask me a few questions And I'm just gonna go through them and answer them for you what position do you play? Well, my strongest position is right wing, but I can play centre attack in mid. But I prefer to be on the wing because that's where I'm most effective. How many times a week do you train? So I have a bit of a, I have a schedule. This won't work for everyone, but this works for me. So Monday I'll do my explosives and strength conditioning with my personal trainer or my or with basically a personal trainer. Then Tuesday I would have training. Wednesday I'll do the exact same thing as I've done on Monday. So my Explosive training. Thursday, I'd have training again. Friday, I'd rest, and Saturday, I'd usually have a game. But because it's pre-season, I don't really know when I'm gonna have games, so I just have to work around it. But I just always make sure I get a rest before I play a game. What do you eat before a game? So usually, it all depends. But my favorite thing to have before a game is porridge and coffee. Porridge. The reason why I have porridge is because it's a slow-release energy food, and coffee is to give me a bit of a a bit of a kick because of the caffeine. I, I can. It just makes me buzz, so, and it just, I feel like caffeine makes you concentrate a bit better, so that's what I have before a game. Why don't you play for a pro club? Well, there's a lot of answers to this question. There's a lot of politics behind football, obviously I don't want to talk too much about the politics, and obviously there's a lot, there's a lot of things behind the scenes that I don't see as a player. Obviously, all I'm told to do is play football, and obviously just focus on my football, so... There's a lot of things behind the scenes that mess up deals and stuff like that, but I'm not really going to go into that. Obviously, I'm not a pro because I'm not a pro. There's no reason behind why I'm not a pro. Obviously, everyone can see that I work hard and, I, and I'm talented and like, hopefully soon my pro, my pro contract should be coming. Well, I'm not going to talk too much on that. What age did you start playing football? So I started playing at three years old, but competitively, I think I was seven. And yeah, from seven onwards, I've been playing football non-stop. So that's literally all I know. How old are you? So I'm 21, but I don't look 21, do I? But yeah, no one really believes that I'm 21, but I'm 21. What clubs have you played for? So 10 to 12, I was playing for Spurs. And then I went on numerous trials for like Reading, Bristol City, a couple other teams, but... And I ended up playing for Wolves for three years. I signed my pro contract, my my first pro contract at like 17. And I was at Wolves for three years. So what do wingers need to work on? Personally, me, my advice that I'd give to a wingers is just always be confident, always be direct, always try new things. And just when you're playing, express yourself and try and be as direct as you can towards the goal because you want to assist and score goals and create. That's what wingers are supposed to do. So that's the advice I'd give wingers. And that's what wingers need to work. A winger is a position where you should be given the freedom and you should be allowed to do whatever you want. Like, obviously, there. what do scouts look for in a winger? Well, I'm not a scout. I wouldn't know. But obviously, scouts look for, obviously, a good attitude, um, how you are often on the pitch, how you present yourself, how you speak to people, professionalism, how you look as a player, how you're built, like, everything. Everything, scouts look at everything, but mainly attitude and hard work and obviously technical ability, etc, etc. They look for they look for a lot of things in a player. Best advice you'd give a 16 to 17 year old to make it, make it into the professional game. So you're not really that old. Like, 16 to 17 is, you should be enjoying your football. You should just be playing freely. Just seeing where it goes. You shouldn't really be taking it too seriously. You should just go with the flow, see where it takes you. It's not really, it's not complicated at that age. You just play, play your game and play it play however you want to play my best advice for you to make it to professional game is just try and be as consistent as you can at that age scoring goals just having fun where do you look to go in your football journey so i'm trying to get back into the profession obviously there's a lot of things happening at the moment i don't want to say i'm trying to get back into the pro game so with my journey i'm just trying to take it step by step and just work my way back up because that's all i can do at the moment what team are you moving on to? At the moment, I don't have a clue. I don't have a clue where it's going to take me, to be honest. I don't know where I'm going. I haven't. I don't have no clue, but I will have a team. What boots do you wear and what's your favourite pair? So I used to wear Superflies, but I decided to change to Phantom GTs. And I think Phantom GTs are more comfortable, but I still will wear my Superflies. I'm a night guy, so yeah, I wear the Phantom GTs at the moment, but 
I'm a big super player fan. Things that helped you score more goals. So before I used to be a guy that always used to do tricks, always wanted to look nice, always wanted to look pretty. But going down into the leagues that I went to go down to, it wasn't as pretty and it wasn't as technical. There were certain things I had to learn and I had to adapt to. So I learned how to be more direct towards the goal and I learned, I learned how to shoot through bodies and I learned how to shoot more often. Like if you don't shoot, you don't score. So that's what in my mind I thought to myself, well, I need to shoot more. It doesn't matter if I take a shit shot or as long as I try something or as long as I hit the target or, you know what I mean? Because when you go down to them type of leagues, it's not, it's not all pretty football. It's not all like academy football. It's, it's different. So you have to adapt to it and you just have to find your ways of scoring goals. And my ways of scoring goals are just being more direct towards the goal, doing less skills and just playing my own game, but just mixing it up a little bit because the football is different from pro to that level. It's, it's much different. Do you do education or do you have a job outside of football? No, I don't have a job and no, I don't do education. Reason being is because my main, my dream was to, my dream is to become a footballer and that's what I'm going to become. So for me personally, I can't focus on two things. And with football, football is crazy. Like I put all of my, my hard work and all my graft into football. I don't focus on nothing else but football. So for me, it's just 24 7 like i i li i live i i eat i sleep i drink i everything football everything has to be based around football for me and that's what keeps my focus that works for me so that's the way i'm going to keep would you rather take less money and play or take more money and not play so personally for me i think football is about being happy i would i would rather take less money and play and get the exposure than take more money and not play because if you're not playing, you don't get the exposure and you don't get looked at. So my my type of way of thinking is if I play for less money and play and actually play and get minutes on the pitch, then I can show people what I can do. And then the higher people that watch would be like, oh, well, he's playing, he's doing something right, he's scoring goals and you get a better move and then you'll line up getting more money. So, but it's, football's not about the money. Would you pursue YouTube as a career? If it paid me financially, but I would... I would consider it as being a career, but I wouldn't at the same time. Like I, before, I never ever thought I'd be like, I'd do anything to do with YouTube. But if I could earn two incomes, why not? Who would you say you play like? So me personally, I think I'd say I play like a Murray's. Who do you want to play for when you're older? So I'd, I'd want to play for someone like Man United or Man City or Barcelona. The team I've always wanted to play for is like a Dortmund or something. Who's the best player you've played with? So the best player I've ever played with is Helder Costa. He was at Wolves two years or three years ago he, he's at Leeds now but yeah he, he's a joke his feet is mad like he's crazy can't lie Elders he's a joke he's a joke what made me start my YouTube channel was basically I got a lot of DMs from people especially younger kids and they wanted advice and they wanted help so I just thought to myself let me start a YouTube channel so I could help people improve on what they need to improve on and obviously give them advice and how give them advice and obviously give them good advice so they can better themselves and become better footballers and obviously i wanted to inspire younger kids because when i was younger i didn't have anyone that i could watch on youtube and be like raw i wanted to be like him or raw i wanted to do certain things like him or so i just thought to myself if i made a youtube channel it would help people and that i got a lot of people dming me and a lot of people snapchatting me and they wanted football advice and they wanted and they would look at my clips on instagram and be like oh um, what draws can I do to improve that? What can I do to do this? What can I? So I just thought by making a YouTube, by making a YouTube, I could cover everything that they would ask for on YouTube, so they could just click on my link and just see everything instead of just coming to me day to day and asking me for advice and stuff like that. And also, what made me start YouTube is that I had a friend that had said to me, "Oh, you should start a YouTube channel about football," but. Before I didn't think it was a good idea because I thought it was going to distract me so I didn't really take it on board but then I didn't really take it on board like I didn't really care about what he was saying like I didn't really take it I didn't think it was anything of it but then eventually I thought to myself raw like I've got a, I've got a bit of spare time on my hands so I should just start making YouTube videos and making how to improves and stuff like that and just putting football content on my YouTube channel and yeah like it's going alright so that's what made me start my YouTube channel but mainly was to inspire kids and it's a bigger platform like a lot of people watch youtube so you never know who's watching so that's why i made it as well just to get a little bit more exposure best team you played against so the best team i've probably played against is when i was at wolves and i made uh, my trick or trade trophy debut i played against scunfort and that was probably the hardest team i played against yes guys that's the end of the video thank you for getting me to 1k views 
I really appreciate it. And there'll be more videos coming soon. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. My socials will be down there. If you need any footballing advice, anything, I'm here to help you. Like one dot, I won't talk too much. I put that boy on blast. They call me 23, but they say no last dance. CEO and renowned for staying months in that town. I won't welcome in my house, my mama back.